so happy to be connecting with you all. Hope everyone is cozy wherever you are. Now, you guys must be wondering why am I here? The reason why I am coming to you right now because on October 17th, my meditation challenge starts. Now, I'm not here to sell you my program. I'm here to tell you what really fortified me, what really motivated me to do this. Now, it is deeply inspired. Trust me when I say that. It is deeply inspired. And it is not inspired by the desire to earn income. It is deeply inspired by the ways of raising the frequency of this planet. And I can only do this if I do my own, if I raise my own frequency. And I know it's selfish that through you, I will raise, I will be raising my own, but through me, you will raise yours. So it is of mutual benefit, right? Now, sometimes we think that the problems of the world are too big for us to make an impact, but each person and each thought do make a difference do make a difference now there's a data to suggest that it takes only the square root of one percent of the population to align their thinking for mass consciousness to change imagine imagine then what the impact is with people coming together even if it is online even if it is for seven weeks it's seven days in a week the impact of that focused attention and improvement and on peace affects so many people. Now for our world to change, we ourselves have to be willing to change and that's why we meditate. Now meditation causes us to be more universal and to let go of the conditioning that causes us to feel that we are separate from each other. It helps us to face ourselves and to change with grace. How can we expect the world to change if we are ourselves not willing to change? So what meditation does is meditation cleanses the mind and frees us from the shackles of this conditioning, making us more tolerant, flexible, and compassionate. Now, we work with, we work with breath, we work with rhythm, we work with sacred words or mantras to shift our nervous system out of a state of stress and reaction into a place of calm and peace. Now, by shifting out of a state of this automatic behavior to a state of consciousness and awareness, our perception shifts and we become more creative in the way we face the various challenges in our life. Now, we move into a state of creating a reality through the lens of positivity and a life actually changes for the better. Now cultivating, cultivating that inner peace, that inner peace through meditation creates peace in our outer world. And this has an incredibly, incredibly positive and healing impact on the planet. It also helps us to see the universality of all teachings and embrace the fact that we all are interconnected so that we may see the divine in every teaching, in every person, and in ourselves. It has never been more important than it is right now for the world to envision peace and create it. It is important for us to take responsibility individually and collectively to, to help heal our planet. Now, now each, each one of us, each one of us can can make this world a better place by becoming softer, by becoming more tolerant, by becoming more compassionate, not only toward others, others, but also towards ourselves. Now we can focus on peace every day, in each moment. We can make it a daily practice. Every thought, every word, every feeling is a prayer, and every day we have a chance, every day we have a chance to uplift others. Now, by consciously directing and redirecting our thoughts and words to focus on love, on peace and light each day, we keep the positive effect of the meditation flowing and have a powerful, powerful influence on the planet. So when we meditate, what we do, we generate the, you know, the magnitude of high pranic energy that can affect the minds and hearts of everyone. 
but in doing so we positively change a molecular vibration at, and on the rays of frequency to new heights of compassion and tolerance now through the principle or through the principle of resonance the lowest vibration in group naturally attuned to the highest vibration and thus what happens that we are collectively we are collectively transformed so meditation is all about is all about transformation and it can transform you help you become the best version of yourself so the way i structured this course is 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 quite unique every day you'll find new technique of doing meditation first day you will find inspiration meditation so it's going to be all about affirmations now your question is going to be why affirmations now affirmations are used to reprogram the subconscious mind to encourage us to believe certain things about about ourselves or about the world or our place within it so they're all used to help us create the reality we want often in terms of making you know in terms of attracting wealth or love or abundance or happiness beauty and they all can have a significant impact significant impact on the outcome of the events and affirmations are also you know and are just not only for the manifesting a goal they are meant to encourage a life filled with positivity and gratitude now while they do help you achieve certain goals but there is more there's more to them than that now let's say you manifested a job let's say you manifested a job you want it no what no you manifested a job no what so you do you drop that i am the boss affirmation do you drop it yes you do yes you do but and that one should you place it with a new affirmation something like i love my job i enjoy learning new things every day or I'm blessed, I'm set about my success, or my potential to success is just unlimited. So your affirmations is it's gonna help you reprogram your subconscious mind. And that's what we're gonna get started with. Then we're gonna be connecting to our breath. So just as we breathe in, breathe in oxygen for basic survival, we also inhale the universal life force which nourishes and which cleanses our mind body and spirit now conscious breathing that's not just that i mean connect, if, you're, if you're really connecting to breath it helps in nourishing your mind your body and spirit and it it, it open you to healing it does so that's that that's just definitely going to give you awesome results all right then after that we have conscious breathing now conscious breathing um, is used to calm and rejuvenate the body right so conscious be breathing is 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 as exactly as it sounds so it's it's a being conscious and aware of your breath while being present in the moment now this type of breathing is much different from the regular breaths that you take that go unnoticed so most of us only take very small inhales and even shorter breaths when anxious or nervous or angry or scared this is because breathing naturally becomes more rapid during periods of stress but this type of this this type of breathing however does not allow your lungs to to fully oxygenate the body something that needs to happen to promote relaxation but conscious breathing it allows for a deeper or more free breath and this this practice just promotes fully oxygenating your organs and tissues and in turn calming that fight or flight response in the body and very amazing yeah okay and then we're gonna we're gonna be doing the let me see my notes okay so then we're gonna be doing a body scanning why why there are no set ways to find energy blocks eye scan can help to rebalance and allow for energy flow to move through one's body now sometimes what happens that you get caught up in your stress and you don't even realize that realize that physical discomfort that you're experiencing such as your headaches or your back pain your shoulder pain and tense muscles is all connected with the emotional state so body scan meditation is a good way to release tension you might not even realize that you're experiencing 
and then we're gonna be having walking meditation so now when you think of meditation you likely think of a person sitting cross-legged hand on knees eyes closed and uh, breathing slowly and intentionally well that's not an inaccurate portrait meditation is often referred as sitting meditation but that style that style may not be for everyone may not be right for everyone because you know um, in some mindfulness practices you might focus on your breath but in walking meditation you focus on the sensations of in your feet and some people some people benefit from being in motion um, so if if you face let's say if you face while you're brainstorming or you're doing your best thinking during a workout or you need a fidget spinner to concentrate you may be one of those people so both walking and meditation have their own mental they're going to have their own physical health benefits so it's no surprise that a combination of two can really be especially be very very useful okay then we're going to be having five phase guided meditations so there we will be focusing on a forgiveness on visualization gratitude connect to a higher power and ask for the support and it kind of give us so much energy so much energy create high emotional intelligence provide a more forgiving attitude lessen depression your anxiousness and it provides a sense of social connection it improves your sleep and ward off any headaches it's just to name you know um, just a few benefits and then you would be doing self-love so to be truly happy in your life it's important that you have a deep sense of inner worth and strength so this kind of meditation for self and confidence will help you going to help you instill that but when you lack self love or confidence it can lead to the feelings of stress anxiety depression loneliness and many other negative emotions and results so so we're gonna we're gonna address all that through that guided meditation okay then we're gonna be we have mantra meditation so we all know that mantra has been you know has been practiced by Indian sages and yogis since ancient times. Let's say, for example, Om is a source of all creation and can help calm the overactive mind and relaxes the mind and the body. Right? Yes. So it's a it's a source of all creation, and it can help it can help calm down the overactive mind. It does. It, it surely does. Okay, now all these meditations, they are 8 to 22 minutes long, which you can easily, easily fit in your daily schedule. Yes, there's going to be content lessons, reading time associated with each meditation. There's going to be lesson plan, lessons associated with each one of them. And um, I would also be teaching different types of healing modality that you can use to, um, to heal yourself, like EFT or energy healing techniques. Or, and it can be done either through videos or audios. Now these lessons can fit perfectly, can fit, can fit perfectly in, in anyone's schedule, um, however busy you are. I know we all are busy, so I'm not, I'm not demanding you to be available for me early in the morning or late in the evening, no. because I do not believe in micromanaging. I know we all are adults, yeah. We all know, and by the way, even though we all are adults, but this is kid-friendly meditation, so kids can certainly do that. Yes, so um, we all know that we all are, we are responsible for ourselves. Any changes or improvements we want to make, it's entirely a choice. It's entirely a choice, it's free will. It's entirely a choice. Unless and until we are ready and willing to change, we cannot, I cannot force you, I cannot impose change on you. Now anybody taking this program will be an example of people who are ready to transform and become the best version of themselves. Now, so the goal here is to teach you different techniques so that you can just walk away with, um, you know, with uh, or would be able to incorporate any one or two or all in your daily practice, all those meditations that you're going to be learning in seven, in seven days. You can incorporate each one of them or one or two, which, whichever, which resonates most with you. You can incorporate them in your daily practice for the years to come. Yeah. Okay, so, and what else? Let me see. Okay, yes, yeah, so you can also schedule one-on-one -on -one with me in the seven days for, you know, and um, it is, um, but we can, 
we can always have one to a one to one conversation if that's something that you're more comfortable with but we'll, we'll have to kind of you know just just make sure that's in our calendar so it's it's a seven day meditation and mindfulness detox designed to help you heal designed to help you decompress designed to become more mindful and learn coping strategies as you navigate the stresses and, and pressures brought up by you know the situation around us right now like the pandemic or the time of racial awakening or, the, or a spiritual awakening yes. you know, this 2020 is is experiencing massive spiritual awakening so so this program will empower you to find peace while you refresh and reinvigorate your body your mind body and your soul now, so if you're ready for it, if you're ready for it, go ahead and register. Okay, time is running. I'll be soon closing the registration. So if this is something that does not resonate with you at this time, it's fine too. Completely. I respect it. But if you do, I'm happy to have you. I'm, I'm, I'm psyched. I'm, I'm too happy to, I'm honored to have you and be a part of your transformation process. Okay, so see you all soon.